Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now you're probably thinking this isn't Hyperia. Well it's Saturday the 25th and Fort Park have just announced that Hyperia will not be open on Saturday the 25th. Now I did have tickets booked out for the Saturday the 25th and I was going to give you a full tour and all of the area, all of the shops, all of obviously the prices and everything and show you the full experience walking through those queues because obviously I actually went yesterday on opening day and I didn't have the best experience obviously with the queues, you expect that with a brand new coaster don't you, long queues and you get that anywhere but it was very long queues, I was going to show you the full experience today but unfortunately they've announced that Hyperia will not be opening so I won't be going there today to show you that. Now I was going to arrive later on in the park today due to what I obviously experienced on that first day but I'm not leaving now because I was just about to walk through the door and Lots of people were sending me this confirmation that Hyperia will not be opening. So I'll have to visit on a different day because I'm actually going abroad for a different trip. But when I actually do get back, I will give you that full tour. But I will put in that opening day footage now and that will roll now for you. So see you at yesterday's park. Well, yesterday's vlog. See you there. It's a lovely day out today and I can't wait to get on this beauty finally, I've been waiting a long time for this. And I've got my Magnum in the queue line, looking forward to this, lovely hot day today. Just be warned the bins get a bit full. It's a lovely day out today everyone's enjoying themselves, waiting to get into the queue over there. Now it says 240 on there, whether it is 240 or not I don't know because the time has been all over the place today. I'll tell you what, this queue's moving quite quick. Now around this area, obviously it's nice and fresh. Uh, it's only recently that they finished this area and it does look good, obviously it look a lot better when all the trees are grown in this area. To be fair, once you get into the queue, they're actually sending the trains out. It's taking them a minute to a minute and a half to send the trains out at the moment, so it's not going too bad. I mean, it could be a little bit faster, but I'm already near this front bit here. I've just walked around here, so I'm looking forward to getting over there. It's really noisy and busy here. Everyone's watching the show behind. Now, I'm going to give you my full review after this, but the queue is moving actually nice and quick in here, so tell you afterwards how they went. And here we go, walking up to the station, really looking forward to this. It's finally time. And here we go, back right. Got to go to the back of my first ride, haven't I? I'm going to sit back right, looking forward to this. And here we go, see you after the ride. you get absolutely unreal there now as you exit the rides you get a certificate just over here obviously by the ride booth just over here 
Oh, that's a nice little touch, isn't it? And there we go, there's me, just like that. Now, can I just say, this is going to be a quick vlog today. I'm not going to do an in-depth review. I'm actually coming back here tomorrow to do that. I'm going to show you around the merchandise shop, and I'm also going to show you what's on offer here, food-wise, drink-wise, and everything else. Also, there's a show there, so I'll show you that too tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog. Uh, now, can I just say, I actually got into the queue line outside of Fort Park at 9.10 this morning, uh, 50, 50 minutes before the park opens, um, and I actually ended up getting my ride on here just after 4 o'clock. Um, which is obviously, um, what's that, seven hours. So seven hours, obviously, you queue all the way around here towards the start of the park, all the way around, and then you end up here going into the main area, and then you've obviously got the ride queue. You can either go single rider or main queue. But yeah, that took me over seven hours, well, around seven hours anyway, to get onto the ride, which is a very long time, obviously, for a Friday, and I'm sure the weekend's going to be worse, isn't it? Because it's bank holiday weekend. So just a little tip for you. Yeah, it's a long, long time, isn't it, getting on a ride, but it was worth it because it's the UK's best coaster. Well, in my opinion, it was anyway. Is it yours? Let me know in the comments. Now, in that queue line, obviously, it's a long queue line. Uh, if you wanted to go out to the toilet, you could at the start of the day, but they were having problems with people queue jumping, so they got rid of that. And then later on, towards the end of the queue line, obviously, people couldn't exit and go to the toilet, which is a shame because you had quite a few people that are desperate to go to the toilet, and they couldn't go. Just going for a second ride on Hyperia, then? But it's actually broken down now. Yeah, the ride broke down for about half hour, but it's moving again now, so it shouldn't be long now. Been in the queue for a couple of hours now, so here we go, he's on the vlog now. Hello. Hello. Yeah, it's been a couple of hours, hasn't it? So not too bad at all. What? What? No, Wait, we've now? Been here, uh, yeah. An hour and a half. An hour and a half, yeah. yeah. By the time we get time a couple of hours, something like that. Looking forward to the ride. Second ride in there, row eight. And here we go, not my favorite row at all, but it is what it is, isn't it? You can't pick, unfortunately. Here we go, row eight. Here we go, row eight. And there we go, that was my full park vlog. Now, what did I think of Hyperia? Well, I really enjoyed myself in there. It was just a quick vlog, to be honest. Just wanted a couple of rides on it and just got in my car um yeah i really enjoyed the coaster there's some fantastic elements around there everyone looked like they're having a good time uh, unfortunately though it took about seven hours for me to get on the ride today um there was a lot of people queuing obviously you'd expect that for open day wouldn't you but a lot of people needed a toilet in that queue line and unfortunately there were no toilets around so unfortunately at the start of the day you had quite a few people exiting the queue line because they needed a toilet and that's not good is it they needed to re-enter the queue line and i suppose that couldn't have been nice for a lot of people but let's get on to the coaster. Now the area is really good in there. What they've done, they've done a fantastic job. Obviously the park was on a budget, weren't they, for Hyperia. And what they've actually got for their money, I mean, it's a decent deal. And um, the coaster broke down quite a few times. Um, but apart from that, it was being run well. The area was good, nice and clean, nice and fresh. There was a bit of rubbish in the queue line that I've showed you uh, on a few earlier clips. And you'd expect that because the place was absolutely rammed. There wasn't enough staff going around and cleaning those bins. Um, but apart from that, I'm really impressed with the area. Now, I would have preferred a longer layout on there, to be honest, but it is what it is, and it does the job, doesn't it? There's nothing quite like it in the UK, but there is now. Anyway, I'm back here tomorrow, so I've got a long day, and I'm going to head home now. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe. It really does help the channel grow. Well, are you impressed with Hyperia? Did you go on it? What road did you pick? What did you think of the area? Let me know in the comments, and as always, I'll see you in the next theme parks and attractions video. My voice has completely gone as well. Anyway, see you in the next one.